Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about the ETAG or better known as the Emerson Tactical Assault Knife, okay? And like the name says, this is a beefy fighter, okay? This is a fighter, a self-defense type of weapon, no question about it, okay? Is that the first functionality for this style of model? Now, let's quickly compare that knife with the CQC-7B, right here. Okay, you can see this blade is a 3.9 inch blade, overall 9.0 inches, nine inches overall length, okay? So you have an almost four inch blade right there, that sweet spot. Let's compare it with the 110, right here. Okay, see, pretty comparable there. And I, I still have some commanders here at the table. Let's compare with the commander. Just so you see how it compares. Perfect. Now, let me say that I got this knife late last year and it took a little while because I was not sure about this handle. Okay, if we look close, this handle is really nice at this moment, but then I have this question, you know, about this portion here, if that will fit my hand perfectly or fine or not. And I'm happy to report, I have no problems ergonomically speaking. It handles great. And one of the things about this knife is that when you put your grip on it, it just locks right there and you don't have any problem or any gaps. This is just a secondary, you know, right there, no problem at all. And that's that was my main concern with this specific model. So it writes really nice, ergonomics are great. That reverse grip, you have this, you know, right there it just right that you know that thumb perfectly you can see that curve right there it's just excellent you know it is a great knife my other main concern with knives that have this style of handle like the cqc 15 or the cqc 12 is that when i'm working on you know if i'm doing some fishing stuff or i need to cut some lines or stuff like that i usually prefer handling the blade like this. So I have a loop, right? And I will cut this way. And again, it does not get in the way at all. It's very, very nice. That grip or reverse grip like this for doing this type of movement is really, really good. And like you can tell, that blade, man, is mean looking, sexy, is you know, is this tanto elongated tanto blade with let's show you here with a little bit of belly right in this portion here. You have a little bit of a recurve there with that mean tanto V grind with that chisel edge right there. And this man, this blade profile is just super super nice okay you have the wave right no question there and you have the linear hole if needed and then that classic emerson construction right and again ergonomics are on point it's really 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 nice both ways let's look at it how it rides in close position right there. See, you just have that profile right there. This is probably one of the Emerson's that ride pretty high on the pocket. Not something that bothers me, but be aware of that. You might want to look, if that bothers you, you might want to look into having a deep pocket carry clip, right? So be aware of that. Let's see how it writes in the pocket right now. Taking my jeans right here. Let's see. 
And again, for me, this is mainly, you know, a, a self-defense style of knife, I should say. I was carrying this knife today. You know, that's basically the profile of it. It gives you enough pressures to effectively wave this knife, I should say. It's like give you enough pressures right there, no issues at all. And obviously, you can remove it without waving if needed. And again, the ETAC B, I'm still new to it, but I highly recommend that if you need a beefy tactical knife. Thank you for watching.